up standing and put your hands together for the new Mr. and Mrs. Beaumont. Jason, today you pledge not only your love to each other, but also the strength, warmth, and most importantly, the fun of true friendship. You offer each other the security, which comes from legally binding vows, sincerely made and faithfully kept. to thank each and every one of you for coming here today to celebrate the marriage of our daughter Fiona to Jason. Jason, oh dear. <laughs> now it won't surprise you, when I first met Jason, I thought it was the second coming. <laughs> the only clue that he was not Jesus was the tattoos on his muscular arms. I tell you what Jason, today would be a good day to turn water into wine. <laughs> pleasure to welcome you all here today to Clevedon Hall and of course a very special welcome for Fiona and Jason. I'm pleased to say that the place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to the law for the celebration of marriages. Thank you for raising such a beautiful, intelligent, albeit very stubborn, <laughs> daughter and also thank you for allowing me to marry her. <laughs> Yeah. I can assure you both 
that Fiona's happiness is the most important thing to me and I promise to make you proud and take very good care of her. <laughs> you start crying. Jason's always struck me as a caring and law person and I'm sure he'll always take care of our daughter. Remember Jason, a man is incomplete until he's married, after which he is truly finished. <laughs> I give you this ring as a symbol as a symbol of our love, trust and marriage. As our love, trust and marriage. If you'd like to just hold Jason's ring there and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol. As a symbol of our love, trust, and marriage. Of our love, trust, and marriage. Excellent. Okay, locked in. <laughs> it comes a time in everyone's man's life when they meet their one true love, the person they fall so hard for they don't know what to do. That happened to Jason, Jason 15 years ago when he met me. <laughs> <laughs> Fiona and I have been through so much over the years and it has only made us stronger and got us to this point here right now. Since we first met that faithful night in Hereford, <laughs> I knew she was the one for me, even if she didn't like me. <laughs> that made no difference, I knew I wanted to get to know her. I am so lucky to have such a kind, smart and funny and beautiful person in my life. You look stunning walking down the aisle and stunning now. Let's stand for my final toast and raise a glass to Fiona, my beautiful wife. To Fiona. I know you're going to love each other for a very, very long time. And it's going to be a many, many years of a lot of fun and crazy dumb stories that you're going to be able to enjoy for the rest of your lives. And accordingly, it's my honour and pleasure to say you are now husband and wife. And I believe you make this your bride.